Today I'm going to show you how to clean your clarinet. Before we even begin, I'd like to remind you that it's important to wash your hands both before and after you play your instrument. That helps to protect you from bacteria as well as helps to keep the instrument in good working order. So we've washed our hands, we've practiced our instrument, now it's time to clean it. In order to do that, we need a clarinet cleaning swab. Your swab might look a little bit different from mine, and that's okay. Yours might be made out of cotton, or it might be made out of microfiber. Any of those will be just fine. The important part is that it has a string attached with a weight at the very end of it. So let's take our clarinet. You can remove the ligature, set it off to the side. Take the weighted end of the swab and feed it through the bell of the clarinet. If your string is long enough, it will come out the other end and you can pull it all the way through. If it doesn't come through the other end of the clarinet, that's okay. What we'll do instead is clean each part individually. We're going to do that anyways. Even if your swab goes through the entire clarinet, the next step is to take it apart and clean each piece. Let's start with the mouthpiece. So find the weighted end, drop it into the mouthpiece, and pull it through so that it cleans the inside. Your swab might not go all the way through the mouthpiece, and that's okay. Just pull it through as much as you can and then back out the way you fed it through. I'm gonna keep pulling mine through because it is going all the way. It should be a snug, but not a tight fit. Take the cloth, the cleaning swab, and you can clean the cork as well because a lot of moisture often gets caught up around the cork. We are also going to give a deeper clean to the mouthpiece a little bit later before we put away the instrument. So for now, put that off to the side in the case. Next piece, the barrel, twisting and pulling it off. Feed the swab through. And there are no corks on the barrel, but it's good to just sort of rub on the inside here of where the corks to the other pieces that connect to it go, because a lot of moisture likes to get trapped in there. Set the barrel in the case. Twist carefully back and forth and pull the upper and lower joints apart. Same thing, drop the swab into the upper joint and pull through. If it feels like it's getting stuck, don't force it all the way through the instrument. Instead, grab where you fed it through and pull back out, and that should release the swab. If it is okay though, you can pull it all the way through and set that piece back in your case. Next, the lower joint, same thing. Feed it through. set that back in the case. And finally, we have the bell. There won't be a whole lot of moisture in the bell, most likely, but it's still good to give it a clean. Drop the swab in, pull it through, give it a nice wipe, and set it back into the case. It's really important to make sure that all of the pieces go back into the case in the proper way. If you go to close your case and you find that it's not closing easily, it probably means that one of the pieces wasn't quite put away properly. So it's always good to check before forcing the case closed. Like I said, we are now going to give the mouthpiece a little bit of a deeper clean before we close the case. We're gonna finish up cleaning our clarinet by giving the mouthpiece one more deep clean before we put it back in the case. We have a couple of materials here to help. I have a bowl. I've already filled it with warm water and a little bit of dish soap, a few Q-tips, and some paper towels. So go ahead and fill up a little bowl of water with some dish soap. 
Now before we start cleaning, I want to point out something very important about a clarinet mouthpiece. There is a cork on the clarinet mouthpiece. This cork cannot get wet at all. So if it were to get wet, it could shrivel up, change shapes, fall off entirely, and then the instrument would need a repair. So this can be avoided by just being a little extra careful while you're cleaning your clarinet mouthpiece. Instead of dunking in the clarinet mouthpiece into the bowl, we're not going to do that at all. Instead, grab a Q-tip, get it a little wet, and we're going to go along the inside of the mouthpiece, along the edges, give it a good scrub. Again, we're being very careful to not get the cork wet on this end. And then I would recommend using a paper towel. Again, get it a little bit wet in the soapy water and wash the outside of the mouthpiece. Again, being very careful to not touch the cork with the water. Wiping it down. An extra tip when cleaning your clarinet mouthpiece. If you have a mouthpiece patch, a lot of griminess likes to get stuck along the edge of the mouthpiece patch. I like to take my fingernail and sort of get in along the edge to loosen up a lot of that and then you can just wipe it off with the towel. Once you've done that, take a dry paper towel, dry it off as best as you can and then we're also going to let it air dry for a little while. Remember to wash your hands before and after you play your instrument and once you've cleaned it make sure all of the pieces go back into the case in the proper spaces. Thank you so much for watching and I hope this has helped.